Hey right guys, Trish Much is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to the penultimate episode to House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 9. Last episode was perfection. I love the last episode. I've watched that scene, the dance scene, uh, where Viserys is kind of watching his whole family and he's got the smile on his face. I think I've watched that scene maybe 10 times, I'd say. Like, all the way through. On the big screen, in there, which is really nice. <laughs> Just sat there, rewind, play again, rewind, play. Yeah, that's my. F I think that's my favourite scene of this show so far. And uh, as we said last episode, as, and as everyone's been saying, if Paddy doesn't at least get nominated and preferably win, based on what I've seen so far this year, not that there's been much in terms of for the next Emmys, uh, then, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll all riot, I'd assume. I'd assume, surely. So yeah, two episodes left, and I'm curious what they're going to do now that he's dead. Presumably, I mean, I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty certain that he took his last breath at the end of the last episode, and Olivia Cook <laughs> taking things another way, not how he meant them when it comes to who should be king. So yeah, battles are going to be preparing. I don't think we're going to get any battles this episode, but they're going to be brewing under the surface. So episode nine, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe, and let's do this. Paddy, I'm gonna miss him. While the intro's on. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, because it does actually help the video and channel. Again, I don't make the rules, neither does pa Paddy, it's YouTube, but yeah, they're the rules. Do with it as you will. This is of course like the penultimate episode as well, which everyone was pointing out. Original Game of Thrones, their penultimate episodes were always bangers. So, I think people are going into this episode with very high expectations. I think it's different creators, so I don't know if maybe they'll go down that road. Um, I'd actually maybe prefer if they left the finale as like the banger episode, so we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, looking very gloomy now. <laughs> We're going to get his funeral, aren't we? Like, you know what's just happened. Unless we've done another 20 year time skip, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, the, the birds whispering. They be a whispering. <laughs> His own eyes, Grace. Oh. Buddy! I saw him last night. Before he... Croaked. He told me he wished for Egon to be king. <laughs> it's, it's not... Yeah. It's not what he meant, though, is it? It is the truth. Uttered with his own lips. He did technically say that. His words to me, and I was the only one to hear it. But he thought he was talking to Rhaenyra. So. And now he's dead. The music, bro. Emmy. Emmy music. <laughs> what is it that could not await an hour? Was Dawn invaded? The king is dead. Uh, that shot him up. We grieve for Viserys the peaceful. You can see all their minds turning about how they can benefit from this. <laughs> what now, what now, what now? But he has left us a gift. With his last breath, no, 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 no. Wish that his son Egon. <sighs> We're just making things up. Let ravens be sent to our allies, River Run and High Garden. Am I to understand that members of the Small Council have been planning secretly to install my son without me? My uh, queen. Yeah. You heard the Lord Hand, plot or no? The king changed his mind. I am six and seventy years old. Six and seventy? On his deathbed, alone, with only the, the boy's mother as a witness. Oh. Seizure! He, know, he knows his boy. He knows his boy. The king was well last night, by all accounts. Yo, Krispy Kreme, let's chill. Which of you here can swear that he died of his own accord. Which of us are you accusing of regicide, Lord Beesbury? He's gone. Bees, Beesby's gone. I care not. I will have no Sit part. Down! Oh, wow. Oh, well, he's dead. I don't think that was intentional. Maybe. Good job, Crispy Cream. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Why is this guy still like in the castle? Oh, really? 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 I am your Lord Commander, Sir Criston. Let aside your blade. <laughs> oh, bro. He's lost the bloody plot. 
Has it come to this? Lord Commander, enough. He would have known him for years as well. Lord Peaceberry removed. No. The door remains shut until we finish our business. <laughs> okay. Just chilling with a corpse. The king's gone for one morning. Not even day. Morning. Look. You mean to imprison her? She and her family will be given the opportunity to publicly swear obeisance to... Mm, that worked out for Ned, didn't it? You plan to kill them? Well, that's pretty much what we're talking about, yeah. But a sacrifice we must make to secure Aegon's succession, and then there is Daemon. He wants to pipe up. The king wouldn't wish for any of But the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. He loved her. I will not have you deny this. And yet... One more word, and I will have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. <laughs> Say it. Say one more word <laughs> for jokes. <laughs> what do you suggest, Your Grace? Lord Commander Westerling. Take your knights the Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. Really? Really? Oh, my guy's quitting. Yes! He's off to Middle Earth. I recognize no authority but the king's. And until there is one, I have no place here. Oh, I love him. Big dick energy. One possesses a thing, the other will take it away. Yes, princess. <laughs> just, just nod and agree. Here he is. <laughs> Bring him to me and me alone, Sir Eric. Sir Eric. The music's so good. Correct if I'm wrong, he composed uh, Westworld as well. What is the music of this? Westworld vibe on this one. Yeah, it has to be. It's, uh, this sounds very Westworld. I trust again to you, Sir Chris. You trust Chris? Uh, sure, sure. sure. Egon must be found and he must be brought to me. The very fate of the Seven Kingdoms depends on it. I will not fail you. I reckon my guy just hasn't gotten laid in about 10, 16 years and he's mad horny. That's literally it. That's all that explains this. Mother, Sir Eric isn't the only one who knows Egon's doings. How does how does Eamon look older than Crispin? <laughs> How's that happened? <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna age Crispin up at all. Well, okay. Who can find him first? His tastes are known to be less discriminating. Meaning what? I wish you luck, good sir. What does that mean? And my best to your friend. Uh, I think these two probably hooked up. You once wore your banners to Rhaenyra. You must now pledge them to the future king. Straight on the knee. Damn. Didn't even consider it. I am no oath breaker. I will not bend the knee. Oh, uh, you're dead then, I'm afraid. Everyone else seems to have. Uh, Anyone maybe... else? Some people are standing their ground. Not corrupt at all. <laughs> Getting all the houses in order. I don't think Rhaenyra stands much of a chance for a little bit. What the fuck is this? Oh, he could be here to be fair. Oh, wow. Jesus. About ten years, I should say. They have them grow the nails and file the teeth. Wow. Makes them more formidable. That's... Something, I guess. What the fuck? Egon. One of many I'd wager. Oh. Uh, yeah. You can probably tell which ones are his kids, for sure. Or part of the family, should I say. I'm next in line to the throne. He wants it. Should they come looking for me? I intend to be found. Hey, Fez. I can take you to Prince Egon. <laughs> well, what? Why is it focusing on this? I feel like he's going to die. Yeah. What did he do? He was fleeing from the gate. Oh, he was trying to flee, yeah, definitely. The princess had wager. Oh, right, right, right. 
He might have been trying to go home. I have no love for the princess. Where were you going then with such urgency? Let the king's justice take him. Oh, okay. <laughs> didn't really put up much of a fight there. He didn't really have like a, a plan in his head of what he could use as an excuse for it, sure. Olivia Gog. <laughs> and you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's dying wish. Uh, we're think we're hearing what we want to hear, which a lot of the human race has a problem with, so that's fine. More than any soul alive understands what I say now. Princess Rhaenys, I loved my husband, but I will speak the truth we both know. You should have been queen. Everyone tells her that. Should have been you. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> Everyone keeps pointing out, it doesn't matter how invested you get on who takes the Iron Throne, you know it ends up being Bran in <laughs> Game of Thrones. <sighs> oh, her. Uh. You yourself are the mysterious white worm, I take it. White worm? Or are you simply a further Sounds like an insult. Where's the prince? He is safely tucked away. I want an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. That's a fair request. <laughs> Either tolerated or ignored by the Crown. I look into it. You have my word. Mm, I'm sure you will, Otto. Your, what does your word mean? Wow, look at this place. Jeez. Oh, is he under there? <laughs> oh, it looks a bit ill. I want my mother. Your grandfather the hand. We'll meet him outside the city walls. <laughs> Kill Crispin. Oh, we know who's gonna win this battle. <laughs> Oh, maybe not. Nice. Oh. Where's your brother? Huh? He's just chilling up there watching. Let me go. Why did he leave his brother? That's shady. We'll find a ship and sail away, never to be found. He doesn't want that. The queen awaits. Damn. He really does not want to be king. I mean, he does seem boring. I don't blame him, honestly. We will send terms to Rhaenyra on Dragonstone. We only see Rhaenyra or Damon. She may accept without shame. If she lives, her allies will mass behind her banners, looking for her return. Then she must not return. <laughs> My husband would have desired this mercy be shown to his daughter. I'm sure he would have. Or you, his daughter's childhood companion. You look so much like your mother in certain lights. <laughs> We're playing the mum card. Your grace. The hour is late, Lord Laris. Oh, he's always smirking about. I found about. out something you should know. Have you asked yourself, I wonder, how it is that your father the hand found Egon first. Oh, mate, you are. What is going on? He's just simpy, you know. Oh, has he got a foot fetish? Everyone go okay? Sure. Sure. He had the original foot fetish. One of the little spiders is your lady in waiting. Talia. There are more like her. Even I do not know their number. I guarantee there's about 20,000 Twitter accounts now called Olivia Cook's Feet. I... I 100%. It's like I'm watching actual succession now. This is something um, Roman would do. 100%. With me, princess. I can not let this treachery stand. Oh, okay. Stepping up.
use that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right in the middle of the hall, I guess. Who's done that? That was her pass one at the white worm. Crimp, if I'm wrong. <laughs> Being close in a bit. This was maybe a bad idea. You've lost each other. There's not that many people. There's a lot of people, but just hold on. Do not toy with me, mother. <laughs> That's what he wants. Your grandfather, the Hand, will try to impress on you that Rhaenyra should be put to the sword. You must reject this council. Mmm, yeah, we can have a Joffrey moment where he's like, mm. Wow, so many people, Jesus. Mad. That doesn't look too bad. Looks a little bit CGI, they're kind of all floating like that, but it's pretty good. Imagine trying to render that many CGI people, God. Mad. People of King's Landing, today is the saddest of days. Yeah, it all seems really Our sad. beloved king, Viserys the Peaceful. The Peaceful? <laughs> is dead. He whispered his final wish that his firstborn son, Aegon, should succeed him. You bloody what? Tim. Is Kanye West going to come running out? Oh no. Not on this big a turnout for Joffrey's. That's the first cough we've heard. <laughs> There'll be more coughs than that. Mad. Just, just fits his head. Kind of. Let the seven bear witness. Aegon Targaryen is the true heir to the Iron Throne. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Is it? Oh, he kind of did. I thought he wasn't going to nod. <laughs> All hail his grace! Also look creepy there. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm! Yeah! Egg on the King! Yeah, a few, few claps. I don't know. Sure. He's feeling himself now. That's a sick sword. Whoa. What the fuck? Is that a dragon? Yep. <laughs> so many civilians just died there. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. That'll happen. That'll happen. <laughs> that was the last thing I thought was going to happen. Way to ruin them, but yeah, okay, he's sick. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. <laughs> Wait, what? It looked what? What's the size there? Did that shot look really bad? I need to go back. I can't tell if that looked really bad or not. What? When it went through the door, it looked really tiny. It looked really tiny. Wait, let me just check. That size makes no sense. I know it like pulls its wings in, I guess. But then you see it come out. And... All right, yeah, come on. You see it come out the door and look how big it looks after. <laughs> the doors aren't that big. Um, other than that, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be too hard on it because everything else about this show, CGI wise, is. Amazing. It's amazing. It's a TV show and look at what they can do. You can't be too harsh on it. <laughs> but uh, that was the only bit. Some 
that that one shot did take me out a little bit at the end. <laughs> um, very good episode, very good. Kind of didn't we didn't see Rhaenyra or Damon at all, so we're not even gonna. I assume we'll see them in episode ten, and get their reaction to the king's death and stuff. But this was very much so Alison, um, kind of preparing and getting ready for, you know, to take on the throne. Not not her personally. I mean, she she was questioned. Have you never thought about taking it? But. She'd kind of, it's like um, Cersei with Joffrey in a way where it's like, yeah, Joffrey was on the throne, the throne, but it was Cersei that was kind of whispering in, into his ear for the most part, like what to do and what to say. Not all the time, of course, but it was kind of Cersei was always on that throne in that show. And I'm not saying this will be the same as that, but because Joffrey very much wanted the throne. And to be fair, uh, Aegon at the end there kind of was feeling himself a bit so maybe he'll be alright on it as well we'll see but yeah all that build up to it and trying to find him in is it is it called Flea Bottom it's not is it called Flea Bottom yet I'm not sure is it it's called Flea Bottom in Game of Thrones I'm pretty sure or is that like a certain part of King's Landing I guess I'm not sure what like each region of King's Landing is called, is called but that was all fun stuff uh, got a little little 1v1 there which was fun I guess uh, we got the big big dragon at the end kind of ruining <laughs> the moment. I mean, I would argue didn't ruin the moment, made the moment a bit better, but from their point of view, it's probably not not the best look. <laughs> and how many people died then just from getting squished? Um, we had some, we had Olivia Cook's feet. That happened. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> also, shout out to the score. The score's been amazing all the way through, but I felt like this episode was one of its best for sure so it did have a bit of a westworld vibe to it and like i say i think i'm i'm like 99 percent sure but i want to check just in case i'm wrong but I'm, I'm sure it's the same composer they're both hbo so it makes sense and they did sound yeah it is okay cool i wanted to double check but that's it had a kind of westworld vibe going on or did, did westworld have a house of the dragon now westworld came before house of the dragon but it, some little keys in there so rating for the episode i'm gonna go I, I preferred the last episode i think for sure and this didn't have that episode nine feel i want to say it was great it was still amazing but i think they may be saving everything up for the big finale at the end um rating i gave the last i think i gave the last one a nine out of ten like i said this one wasn't as strong as that one so yeah, give it a 9.5. I'll go 8.3, I think. 8.3 out of 10 for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next week for the finale. Until then, take care. Peace.